Party candidate in the British general election and came in fifth. Now, here we go. Sanders has said he is, quote, proud to be Jewish, but not particularly religious. Now, how does that work? I, how can you be proud to be Jewish, but say that you're not religious? Does that, does that compute in any way? What is he proud of then? What part of being Jewish gives him pride? Does anyone know? What is it? His accent? Sanders' wife is Roman Catholic, and he has expressed great admiration for Pope Francis. Oh, boy. Now, th this is a psychological, uh, this is so rich. Here is the Jewish atheist suddenly loving a pope. Now, you know and I know that behind the scenes, the man has had antipathy towards Christians his whole life. That you know. That's a given. I know the menu from which he comes. I know how they think. I know what they say behind closed doors. And you know that there's a lot of anti-Christian or Christophobia amongst people like Bernie Sanders. That would be my guesstimate. Now, all of a sudden, he finds a communist pope who espouses... The rubbish about global warming and income inequality blah, 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 without giving away a dime of the church's money. So Bernie, of course, would gravitate to that kind. I wouldn't be surprised if Bernie doesn't announce he's going he's to convert, convert to Catholicism with the Pope eventually giving him the, uh, the, 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 wa the waffle, whatever they eat, the little waffle. The, the thing, the wafer, the wafer. Who's in the wafer business? They must make a lot of money on the wafer business. I think we've said enough about the mayor of Burlington. We know he's not going anywhere. We understand that old Bernie's not going to get anywhere, and he's a wonderful, wonderful thing for the political party. He criticizes people with anything more than him, anyone who's better looking, who has better hair, a nicer looking wife, better shoes, a nicer car, a person who can golf better than him. Anybody who does anything better than him, he hates. That's who Sanders is. Sanders' his entire life was built on resentment and hatred. And that's why he's popular amongst the university and the commie crowd, because they hate everybody. Tom on double... Oh, I can't... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. 855-407-282. If you want to comment on last night's uh, Soviet-style uh, so-called debate, what I think about Jim Webb, which is the highest. We're going to try to get Jim Webb on. I don't think he'll come on. It's interesting. Uh, what's his name? None of the others will come on my show. None. The surgeon won't come on. Cruz, forget about it. Uh, the ice cream man won't come on. But Trump comes on every month. What does that tell you about Donald Trump? It tells you a lot. Now we're trying to get a Democrat on who I respect, Jim Webb. Let's see if that works. I'll be back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. Your Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust for tangible assets, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. When you look around the world, you see every other major country providing health care to all people as a right, except the United States. You see every other major country... Right, then why don't you move out of the country, you backstabbing communist baby, piece of... Go then get out of here. Go get your health care in Norway. Because Turn them off. Why don't you become a refugee to Norway? You little rabble-rouser, you, you hater. You class warfare... M I know the type, I'm sorry. It's very personal for me. Bernie Sanders is the type that made me leave New York in the, in the 1970s. Because of Bernie Sanders' type in New York, I fled New York. I ran as far as I could to get away from that type, that type of hater, that divider. That, he's jealous, just a jealous type. I know the type, a loser, in plain English. A loser, jealous of anyone who was better looking, anybody who achieved more, anyone who had a better girlfriend, anybody who had better shoes, anybody who had a cleaner Volkswagen. This is the type of guy who hated you. But that's why he belongs on the Democrat side. He, he was at the right table last night. But don't think I'm just going to bash Democrats. It'll be too easy. I like Jim Webb, and I'm not doing it for effect. I think he was great. He's a real hero. And he's more conservative than most of the Republicans that I have witnessed, by the way. Certainly more Republican, more conservative than John Boehner and Mitch McConnell, wouldn't you say? Yeah, okay, I'll be back. Be here, be nowhere. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, 
culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. When I take over in this country, the rich are going to pay their fair share. And not only will they pay their fair share, but I am certain that others will pay their fair share as well, especially those who have any money and anything they've achieved. They must pay their fair share because nobody has earned anything in this country not on, except it was on the back of others. And so I think a minimum tax rate for those making more than $10,000 a year should be at least 98%, and I would make it graduated so people should not say that I'm unfair. Anybody making more than 20000 a year should pay 99%. Any, anybody making 50000 up must pay 100% of their, of their income as taxes. She said, how are they going to live if they pay 100% of taxes? My answer is simple. Let them live like the others have lived with nothing. Let them go on welfare, food stamps. Let them see what it's like. I want fairness. I want equality in this society. And therefore, I think that fair, fair taxes are the fairest way to go. And 100% is fair enough for anyone making over 50000 a year. And as far as the millionaires and the billionaires, I tax them at 150%. So how are they going to live? Because they got plenty put away. They could sell their houses. They could sell the yachts. They could sell the cars. And uh, they could empty the bank account. So 150% up to $10 million, 300% if you make more than $20 million. And then we'll have fairness in America. I would also take all of the street people from uh, Black Lives Matter. And I make them all of my cabinet. Because they know how to make things run. They know how to deal drugs. They know how to sell. They know how to make a profit. They know how to buy. They know how to sell. I'm going to put them into the Department of Human Affairs. I'm going to put them into the Education Department because they speak such fine English. I'm going to take someone from Black Lives Matter to run the uh, Health and Human Services Department as they know all about welfare. Believe me, we're going to have people on the ground who know just how to make this country work. I'm Bernie Sanders, and I'm running as a communist. I try to pin them. I try to understand the face. I couldn't make heads or tails of it. It was a combo of like a Civil War daguerreotype mixed in with a Ringling Brothers circus. For, I didn't know who he was, where he came from. I know he had been a Republican, then he became a Democrat. Then he didn't know who he was. He knew he, knew he lived in Rhode Island, but he didn't know exactly why in Rhode Island, where he came from. But he was up there. <clears throat> He's a non-entity. So you got three contenders. You got the pantsuit. You got the uh, Red Beret. And then you got the military. I, I really liked uh, Webb. I'd vote for him. I mean, if he was the only choice, I certainly wouldn't. I was a Democrat, which I'm not. But I tell you the truth, he looked like more of a conservative than, than Rubio. Let's listen to clip five of the new hero of the Democrat Party to Michael Savage, Jim Webb on clip five. Now, everybody makes their decisions, particularly when the time there is conscription. And as long as they go through the legal process that our country requires, I, I respect that. And it would be for the voters to decide you know, whether Senator Sanders or anyone else should be president. I will say this, coming from the position that I've come from, what I've come from, from a military family, with my brother a Marine, my son was a Marine in Iraq, I served as a Marine, spending five years in the Pentagon, I am very comfortable that I am the most qualified person standing up here today, today to be your Commander-in-Chief. But he's right, by the way. Absolutely 100% right. Now, I looked up Jim Webb's policy positions. Budget. Cut the budget by reviewing all programs support military funding. I wrote that in my own book. Climate change and energy. I wanted to see if he was one of the, uh, you know, those in on that, that, that nonsense. He doesn't say anything about it. He says, limit EPA power to regulate emissions, expand energy access, build the Keystone Pipeline. That's interesting. Guns. Gun ownership is an important right, says Jim Webb. Immigration. Allow a path to citizenship after the border is secure. Support the DREAM Act. Disagree with him on that. Obamacare. President Obama mishandled the process. The law could have been narrower. That's a little hedgy. Prison reform. Jim Webb says initiate sweeping reform of criminal justice and incarceration system. I totally agree. I've been on board with this for years. I believe that the drug laws are insane. I think that drug dealers should be executed. I don't think that people who use drugs should be incarcerated. Is that clear enough? Social issues. Jim Webb. Same-sex marriage should be legal. No, more or less is legal. Government has no role in private matters. Allow abortion access. All right, that's a little debatable here. He doesn't talk about selling baby body parts or infanticide. Taxes. Where's Jim Webb on taxes? Cut corporate taxes. Raise taxes on investments. I don't know the problem with that one. I'd love to see U.S. corporate taxes lower to that of the Europeans. You know, we hear about socialism in Europe. They pay few, lower corporate taxes there than we do here. Where does Jim stand on Iran? Against the negotiations with Iran. 
U.S. did not ask for enough concessions against the Iran deal. He's more conservative than, than John Boehner. Islamic State in Iraq. He says the U.S. needs a clear strategy. Unknown if he would send troops to fight Islamic State. President should limit military action. I think most people agree with him on that. So I found that there was a Democrat who is of the old school uh, type. And uh, Jim Webb, I loved seeing this guy. And he stood up next to Hillary Clinton and Sanders, and he really stood out. Welcome to the Savage Nation, 855 uh, Savage debate is the issue. The ratings on CNN were very interesting. And the fact is the, the, the number of viewers was low. 15.3 mil tune into last night's socialist debate compared to the 24 million who tune in to see Donald Trump on Fox News in August. That's a 42% drop. Last night was a record for a Democrat debate, up from around 10 million in 08. So there's no question in my mind that if the election were held today, the Republicans would sweep the, uh, the election, period, end of story. It would be Donald Trump 75-25 against Hillary. No, let's put it this way. If, if it was Donald Trump versus Bernie, it's 90-10. You gotta, it's probably 10% crackpot who would vote for Sanders, just out of spite. If it was Donald Trump versus Hillary Clinton... It'd be 72 to 18. Then that still leaves out 10% of undecided who don't know what country they're in because they speak Arabic. 855-407-282. Line number one, Tom on WABC. Go ahead, please. Uh, hi, Mr. Savage. I, I just wanted to uh, applaud you on your book. I couldn't put that down. It was such a great book. Well, how did you, wait, how did you get a copy of Government Zero? It's not even in the bookstores. Yeah, um, I called you before and you gave me a, a free copy. So. Oh, so they're actually sending hard copies out to winners on my show and they're getting them before the bookstores. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, it is a great, it's my best book, Tom. It is my best. It is my, it's my, it's my opus. It's my best. I also, in your, in your book, you mentioned something about uh, Fannie Mae. And I want to know that um, it's more involved in what you said in your book. Uh, I received a bogus mortgage from J.P. Morgan Chase. And the problem is that what's happening in this country is they're, they're only, they're not fund, they're funding the loan. But they're not, and they're only, and you can fund the loan by using a person's signature and his credit. And they don't even give you the loan at all. And then they sell empty notes to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac to defraud the government. <laughs> well, re let's go back in history to Fannie and Freddie. Do you remember who basically resigned from Congress as a result of that? Do you remember that guy from Massachusetts, Bonnie Frank? Yes, Do you remember him? Yeah. All right, well, he was involved in this, which is why they, they moved him out and dummied him up. You notice you haven't heard from him in a couple of years now? He used to be a laugh line on the Savage Nation. Thank you for the call. Appreciate it. I'm glad you love the book. 855-407-282. If you have questions for Bernie Sanders and you'd like me to answer them, they, they have to be f enough to get me going, though. And I don't know if I can do it because the first hour I was able to channel him a little fairly well. What happened yesterday is in the second hour it falls off because I generally eat during the break between the first and second hour. And the blood goes from my head to my stomach. And then I lose... There's some something in the... Once some part of my brain that gets turned off, the ability to, to, to mimic, the ability to make up a, a voice that matches, I, it, it goes away. I don't know whether something hits it. Some part of the food just turns that off. I don't get it. You want to talk more about this? Here's another little news story for you. This is unbelievable. Gun control campaign. Are you ready for this? Godfather star and 80 other actors joined Bloomberg gun control campaign from Paul Bedard, Washington Examiner. Sophia Coppola, who they say she starred in The Third Godfather. I watched it last night. She ruined it. In fact, I, and I'm, not thinking, I'm not saying just because looks, you know, you know, beauty is more than skin deep. I get that. But she ruined the movie because she's not beautiful. Her father directed us. He put her in the movie. What happened was, if you were a fan of The Godfather movies as I was, I went to see G GF3. I remember when it came out. I sat in a big Cinemascope 70 millimeter theater. When she came out on the screen, there was a palpable gasp in the audience of people saying, I cannot believe what I'm looking at. She played opposite Andrea Ga An Anthony Garcia, Andy Garcia, who was supposed to be in love with her. It was so staged. It was so not real that the, 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 the operatic, the operatically handsome Andy Garcia character would fall in love with her. I mean, you know, it happens. 
she's just doesn't have the looks. So she 